There are three things that I love in this world, fishing, coffee, and pranks. <sighs> uh, gotcha. Don't you wish all your spills were this easy to clean up? I'm gonna use my skills as an expert prop maker to show you how to make this fake spill yourself. We really just need to mix a special kind of plastic together with a dye that looks like coffee and pour it out and let it harden. But I first have to create something to pour the plastic onto that's non-stick. This is just a rubber or silicone plate. All I've done to create this is mix up two parts of silicone. Before I do anything, I'm gonna put on my safety glasses, some nitrile, rubber gloves. This goopy substance here is your silicone base, and you can see it's really viscous, kinda like the inside of a marshmallow. This is the curing agent. This chemical activates the silicone when I mix it in and stir it up and it will harden over about 24 hours and create that pink disc that I showed you earlier. Did you ever see that movie, The Blob? It starts to kind of look like The Blob. Although I've never had to come alive and kill anyone in my studio, yet. Now that it's completely mixed, I'm gonna try to pour it out as smoothly as possible from one spot. And let all the air bubbles stay in one place that will spread evenly out in all directions as long as this piece that I'm pouring on is level. And get the rest of it out. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I just have to let it set for 24 hours. Now that this is cured for 24 hours, we're ready to start mixing the plastic. This is where it gets fun and creative, because you could do anything. I'm mixing coffee, but you could do milk, juice, wine, beer, whatever. I have purchased some liquid plastic. Mix equal volumes of each one. I'm going to pour that much in the exact same amount of the other one. Bloop. Bloop. Yeah, that's pretty good. With some colorant, coffee we know is pretty brown. So let's add a drop of brown. Also gonna add a little white. Okay. That's a little bit too much like chocolate milk. It's missing a little bit of yellow. Probably one drop of that. That's some pretty good looking coffee right there. Now that I've got this one tinted, I'm gonna mix the two parts together. But before we do that, it's important to know that once I mix these together and I get them in this mug, I have a limited amount of time to pour it out before it starts to harden. Here we go. See? I'm pouring the one with tint in it into the other one so I can make sure that I can see it's all in there. It's already starting to get warm. I'm just gonna keep mixing it for a second. And then I'm gonna pour it out. But once you get it poured out like this, you can shape your spill whenever you want. I think maybe like that. I'm gonna set this in it. Yeah, see, I like this. I like this little bit. Very spill-like. All I need to do now is let this sit for an hour and I can come back and peel it off. Now that you know the secrets to making your own fake spills, you can get out there and prank your friends. Hey, Jason, have you seen my coffee? Ooh, another victim.